So hello everyone, welcome to our channel of this GFG period streak of day 90. So let's start our question and before starting the question, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can grow and learn together and maintain our streak with a great impact. <laughs> okay, so what's the question today? So to this question, name is carpet into box and its category is medium with the four points there. Accuracy 25.0%. So maybe there may be some cases which we need to handle. Let's see. So there is a carpet of size A cross B and A represents the length and B represents the breadth. So you are given a box of size C cross D. The task is one has to fit the carpet in the box in a minimum number of moves. Okay, so what is the move here? In one move, you can either decrease the length or breadth of carpet by half and floor of its value or when we decrease it by half you need to consider the floor value right note one can even turn the carpet 90 degrees any number of times and that won't be counted as a move okay okay so here's the tricky part or else this question was very simple as in one side i can say that so let's see so a equals to 8 b equals to 13 as it is saying c equals to 6 d equals to 10 and minimum number of moves is saying one and why because uh, this A cross B is the uh, length and breadth of carpet, right? And this C cross D is uh, length and breadth of box. So clearly A cross B is greater than C cross D. So what are they doing? That they are decreasing the carpet width that is 13 by 2 and taking the floor value that is 6. So now the carpet is 6 cross 8. Now it will be 48. That will be okay. Okay, okay. So let's see the uh, second test case. So the box, the carpet length is 82. One sec. So the carpet uh, length is, uh, length in the breadth, that is area is 8 for the 32. And for the box, it is 30. So as you can see, 32 is greater than 30, it cannot fix. So what they have done, they have decreased the length, that is 4 by 2 is equal to 2. And now 2 cross 8, that is 16, which is less than 3 cross 10. And number of moves is 1. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, let's consider this. Let's understand the dry run here in the paint. So carpet this is carpet right area is 8 cross 13 so what is 8 cross 13 by the way it's either 24 and 8 one's 8 it's 104 okay and this is for the box right this is for the box that is 6 cross 10 that is 60 so it is like this is a box 60 and you cannot fit a box which is of greater than 60 that is 109 you cannot do that right so they are saying decrease the either width or length. So in this case, they are saying that I'm decreasing the width by two, so that becomes six. So the new length and width is eight into six, that is 48. And 48 is obviously less than our area of box even 60. So they are saying number of moves is one. So now I will not look at the constraint and the brute force just coming to my mind is that just maintain one thing that carpet area. Let's find the carpet area is what? 8 into 13. And let's make one more variable. Let's say box area or let's say area. Uh, let's write box area. Uh, it, it is 6 into 10. That is 60. And this is 104, right? So for the times, for the times, this 104 is greater than 60. What I need to do is uh, let's say this will run under a while loop. And what I need to do that I need to decrease this area, this carpet area by two. And if I decrease the carpet area by two, because eventually what I'm doing, this is length into breadth. And the question is saying either decrease breadth or length by two. So let's multiply it either. Either you do L by two into B or you write it as L into B by two, that same, right? So 104 by two will give us as 51. So decrease it 51 and do count plus plus, then decrease it. And as you can see, it will be compared 51 greater than 60 and it will be not satisfy this while loop and it will stop here, right? And the answer will be returned as one. So this is the brute force coming to my mind, but uh, there is a catch here. I think we cannot run this code uh, because we have not checked this thing. One can even turn the carpet and uh, by 90 degrees and won't, then that thing won't be counted as move. So that thing we have not taken care of here. But suppose that condition was not given, then in that case, would this code will work? Yes, it would have worked. It would, it would have worked. So, okay. 
let me just write this code for you or let me just explain it to you here only so if i write this code it will definitely work for some cases uh, where that 90 degree thing is not counted but since there is the 90 degree node there so we have to think of something else so what we can think of mm, what we can think of okay so we have this box area right we have this let's make a number line or let's make a box so it it was 6 into 10 right 6 into 10 before proceeding ahead i just want the like this solution i want to code it for you and we will see then we'll move ahead so let me write it because that's a simple code so i'll pause my video here okay so i have written that code nothing i just maintain uh there's nothing known as long long end so i made an integer long uh, a long data type where i stored the area that is a c cross d that is the box area and this current area is the carpet area I'm just running a for loop, while loop, while this current area or the carpet area is greater than the box area, increment the count and decrease the carpet area by two. So let's run it. And as you can see that it is holding true for our first test case, as well as the second test case even. So let's just, so this code is running considering the fact that I'm not checking the anti-clockwise that 90 degree move clockwise or anti-clockwise as you say so i'm just ignoring that fact for once here and i'm just explaining that will this code work or not so it is working for us other test cases also so if i hit the submit button it will definitely fail but let's see how many test cases pass and we will think of for the next approach so great also that uh, as you can see that this is uh, a big integers number and if you multiply it it will definitely overflow the long values also right so as you can see that's why it's coming zero it is not even considering the possibility of multiplying the number right we have to take big integer for that and i would have taken big integer but for big integer you need to import to java.math and there is no such thing imported here so i cannot do that okay so coming back to the question now coming back to the question now so let's analyze let's analyze how we can do this so the box length was six right so let's make a box here i will make a box here i'll make two boxes i'll make two boxes so length was six right so uh, length this is length and this is breadth this is length and this is breadth okay so let me use some other color and the carpet or let me write it here and the carpet area was 18 to 13 right 18 to 13 so let's say this is the length so 8 will be pointing somewhat here right right and 13 will be pointing somewhat here beyond this 10 value because this was considered as 10 right 13 will be somewhat here so what are they saying that we have to fit this uh, a carpet inside the box so if you observe if you observe if i just fold it once fold it once folding it once means that i'm dividing by two that becomes four so four will be lying here so that goes as step one right and since 13 is greater than this the required box length so i need to fold it here also so 13 by two folding means by two doing by two so it's six so it will lie six here so as you can see Folding from the length as well as the breadth side requires two step, right? So step here is two. But in the question, they have considered that uh, that may be, there may be a possibility that if you rotate the carpet 90 degree, then with uh, 90 degree in the sense that length has become now breadth and breadth has become length and the vice versa, right? So let's see that if it's actually holds valid or not. So 13 was uh, in the upward direction, right? So let's make it as length now. And it was the length, so let's make it as breadth now. Okay, so okay, so it will be pointing somewhat here, right? If this is the number line of uh, length 10, then it will be here, right? So this is my carpet, what? Carpet dimensions. This is my carpet dimensions, right? So I can see that it is lying inside the box length. So there's no problem here, there's no problem here. But I see that 13 is going out of bound. For this length 6 I need to 
do one move and fold it doing one move implies 13 by 2 that is 6 and I will say and I can see that doing one move the carpet length will reduce to 6 here and there is no problem now we can make this carpet fit inside this box right we can do that similarly in this case we were doing it like this 6 into 4 okay so here we just did one step so I will say that step is equals to 1 and in, we have to consider the both the cases and have to return the minimum of it. So what's the minimum? That is one. So that's the whole intuition behind it. How can we code this? I hope you're getting this logic and you must dry run it the same intuition for the second test case. And let's code it now. So what are we supposed to, how are we supposed to write the code? Okay. So let's consider this, this case. Hmm? Uh, so let's store the length uh, Length is equals to what was the thing this was pointing to a this was B this was C and this was D right So let's store the length of the box. I am talking in the perspective of box uh, Now length equals to a width is equals to B right and I need to check that if Any of the dimensions of the carpet is going out of bound for the length of the box So what I will check that if length of box is greater than the length of the carpet or the width of box that is wid is greater than the width of the carpet that is 13 and i will just check it here right i will make one variable that is steps equals to zero and i will just check that if a is actually greater than c right then reduce a so i will say first do steps plus plus and reduce a equals to a by 2 am i right right and I will see that if width is greater than what uh, D, it was D, right? D, then reduce, then first you do step plus plus and uh, reduce uh, width equals to by equals to two, let's say, write it like this. And okay, and A was like pointing to length, length. So if length is greater than C, reduce the length by. I hope you're getting this thing. Okay, so this is the first while loop, but you have to consider the another test case also. So let's rotate it 90 degree as well as we have to store this answer, this steps here. Suppose whatever was the answer here. So let's save it as previous answer is equals to steps and then steps uh, again initialize it to zero and run the again the for loop. So we have to now interchange the things, right? I uh, interchange the width and row. So initially what I was doing length equals to A, right? And width equals to B. So this time I'll write length equals to B and width is equals to A. And the same while loop what I have written here, I will write here. Same while loop. I have already changed the dimensions, right? And from the steps, steps increment I get from here, as well as the previous answer from here, I will return the minimum of it. I hope you're getting this point, right? The same thing I did here in the dry run. So let's do it. So let's code it now. Let's reset the editor. And before coding it, what's the constraint, man? Constraint is 10 power nine, right? So if it's, so if it is 10 power nine, if it is 10 power nine, you cannot, you cannot uh, even not use the O of N. You have to go either under root of N or login right and as you can see that uh, the time complexity is actually the log right and uh, okay so and the things which you, which we are doing is we are always either incrementing length by two or either no not incrementing decrementing that is dividing by two or we are dividing width by two so it will be obviously max of log of uh, length or log of width right and length is nothing but a and width is nothing but b so let's code this solution if you're able to code this solution it will definitely get submit so let's jump to let's jump to the coding part so let's make the variable which we saw in the pseudo code so i will make int len is equals to a and int width is equals to b right and I will say in steps or let's say uh, steps or move equals to zero. And I will run the first for loop where I will not rotate the carpet or the box 
or the vice versa you can either rotate the carpet or either rotate the box so if the length is greater than c or r if width is greater than p or not d right and this length i am talking about is with respect to box area hmm. okay so let's do this so if len is greater than c then actually make a move right as we were doing in the dry run make a move and decrement the length by equals to two right either decrement the length of the box or either decrement the length of the carpet uh, that's the same so if width is greater than d then make a move that is counted steps plus plus and then decrement it right so there goes our first for loop and we have one answer so let's say we will store it in previous answer is equals to steps and initialize the steps reinitialize the steps to zero for the next possibility next possibility is that rotate that is rotate the box or carpet right both uh, I mean same so since we have taken the length and width of box so let's rotate that thing and we will just copy paste the while loop the same so what i can write that length is now equals to b and width is now equals to a and i will just run the above while loop as it is so let's just copy it from here okay mm, okay that seems good seems good so at last at the end of the while loop in both of the possibility what we have to do we have to just return math dot min the previous answer comma steps right that's it and let's compile and run let us check great so it's running and let's now hit the submit button and we know the time complexity is max of log of a the comma log of b so it will definitely get submitted as it has so okay Mm, I don't think that you can you need a walkthrough here, but still let me give you the intuition again This was the intuition. We made a box structure We made a carpet structure and we see that which move is required from which direction here It was exceeding 6. So we made a move here 13 what exceed, exceeding 10 So we made a move but if we consider the another possibility as we mentioned in the question to rotate the carpet or to rotate the box uh, That's that's same, but you have to rotate either one of them like only one of them so if I rotate the carpet here that the length of the carpet now has become the width of the carpet that 13 was in the perpendicular direction now it has been the horizontal and 8 in the horizontal become the vertical as you can see the 8 resides in the range of the uh, breadth 10 of the box but 13 is going out of the bound so I made a one move here and I did 13 by 2 that is equal to 6 and now it is in the bound of the box area and I deduce so in while Moving the 90 degree, the step is equals to 1 and step equals to 2. So take the minimum of it because you want the question was saying to find the minimum moves, right? And we just scored it the two same while loop and two exact same while loop. And we just need to consider the box as length and width and just rotate the box now, right? So that's it for this uh, video. So we are like uh, almost closing into our uh, day 100. So I hope you guys are solving and maintaining your streak as well. And there is one day that day 86 I have still not uploaded. I just saw, I just saw a comment. I have made that video, so I will upload it uh, by today. And few last things that this is my DSA repository. You can start and forward to get help with the source code. And that's my Instagram channel. You can connect me here for any guidance or doubts you may have. And I've also started a playlist of uh, uh, on recursion. So mm, you may view this, right? Uh, where is that? Yes, this is the DSA by Akshay and I have started my uh, data structure series here starting with the recursion as promised with you. Recursion is about to end in next two lectures and they will just shift to trees, graph and DP. So till then, uh, we'll meet uh, tomorrow in the day 91. Uh, till then, just keep studying, keep growing, take care and bye-bye.